Now let's subnet a Class C license with six bits borrowed. You can see that I have circled the sixth one over from the left. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, six. Okay, I've highlighted it, I didn't circle it. But it's Lori's circle shortcut, so, you know, I have to say I circled it. I'm not good at drawing, otherwise I would have. If there are six bits borrowed, there are two bits left because I only have eight bits to play with in a Class C license. My number of subnets is two to the bits borrowed. Two to the six is 64. My number of hosts per subnet is two to the bits left, or two squared, which is four. My subnet mask I get from the table, 255, 255, 255, and there's the 252. And notice, a subnet mask will never have anything other than what's on this bottom line. So your subnet mask is always going to have a 128, a 192, 224, 240, 240, 248, 252, 254, or 255. It's not going to have any other thing. Plus, your subnets are never going to be anything else than 128, 64, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. You're always going to go up by that value, so you're never going to have anything funky in between for your subnet address. Let's work on that CIDR number. I take my subnet mask with the 252, and I expand that. So. I put all the bits out that I need. Again, I do my shortcut. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 6 bits that I've borrowed is going to give me a CIDR number of 30. My increment is 4 from the table. Remember, that's that second row of the table I'm going to use for my increment. So therefore, I'm going to take my subnet address, and this time I am going to go up by 4. You know the drill by now. For the broadcast address, I'm going to be one less than the next subnet. So, one less than the next sublet, subnet, there I go. And by now you also know the drill and hopefully you can get those host ranges. Think about them. What's the first one? Did you come up with 192.168.5.1 through 192.168.5.2? Kind of weird there. We've got a subnet address is 0, the host ranges are 1 and 2, and the broadcast address is 3. Guess what? We're done. We cannot subnet anything more on a Class C address. It just doesn't work. Now you can see very easily that once again we have subnetted a Class C license, this time borrowing six bits using Lori's circle shortcut.